Hello guys, in this video I'd like to give you just an update on kind of plasticity, have a, a nice cool feature it has. And uh, I am working on making uh, more videos for my course cards on the Ultimate Plasticity Modeling Guide and how you can get, you know, work more with splines and lofting and that kind of thing. So um, a, lot, a lot of things that I do guys in plasticity is, you know, I just uh, fillet and uh, chamfer things. You may seem like I'm like a fillet jockey or a chamfer jockey. And I, of course, just kind of like uh, quickly, you know, do that. And I just quickly, you know, cut things apart like this. So uh, a lot of my designs kind of use this kind of functionality. But I just want to let you guys know that there's a whole other world to plasticity, which I'm working on kind of making videos for and updating. But essentially, what we have in plasticity is now this thing called x nerves, which is a very fun way to get some interesting designs going. So let's say we have this like plane right here and I'll shift D and I'll move that up here. I'll rotate and I'll uh, rotate that by nine degrees. All right, so we have this. So in order to activate x derps, all I gotta do is just select, you know, I'll select these two edges and I'll press F and then X and x nerves. All right, and so this gives me some nice options, which once again, I can explore them in more detail at a later time but this is a nice little introduction video guys a quick little introduction video so you can have your continuity g0 g1 g2 you do quad sided to get this nice result so you can select both guides and boundaries so you can change the flatness the boundary quality tolerance all right, just like that, guys, we were to connect that nicely. Uh, what's also cool is that, you know, x derbs pretty much works faster than the traditional lofting method in, uh, in plasticity, the mini CAD programs. So if I now once again press uh, uh, F, so I press F to activate the search function and then XN. It's also, of course, a good idea to set this to a hotkey if you find yourself using it frequently. So here's the thing, if I want to, let's say, fill in this gap right here, because right now it's just, it's just lofting between these two surfaces, guys. And you notice I can't really select this edge. So I need to switch to select boundaries. Um, hold shift and select that. And as you notice, it's now doing this. And now I can change the continuity. And so what you guys notice is that we now have this very fun way of connecting services. So x is essentially a servicing tool for plasticity. It's a very powerful one as well. It gets much better results than the default method. And now all we need to do is just select this, guys, and just press J to join together. There we go. And as you notice, it's now a single object right here, guys. So that was a quick introduction to x nerves, guys. And you know, the fun never ends with this. So let me go ahead and uh, shift D that over here. Let me go ahead and maybe mirror that. I use a special mirror, this one right here. All right, and so now I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, move that up here. And let's select this face here and shift D that. So what's cool about x is just how flexible it is, guys. It really, it's very powerful, but it's also very good for people who are just new to surfacing. Surfacing is a more advanced thing in NURBS. Uh, or I should say in, uh, in CAD programs. And lots of times it's very difficult for beginners. But here, it's made very easy. So let me actually make this a little bit more interesting here. Let me move that down here, for example. Let's see what x nerves can do.
So as you guys can see, Xerbs is just a very powerful servicing solution here. I can quickly just, uh, with minimal effort, allow us to just connect those services together, guys. So link to my course in the description, guys, is the first one there. And so I am planning on adding uh, more videos in my course on how to get into the more servicing spline aspect of CAD and plasticity and how you can pretty much create all these fun services. So it's a whole new dimension and it'll add a lot of power to your plasticity design workflow. So thank you for watching and take care.